everybody, Mayor Dan Tolan here with our latest updates. I hope everybody enjoyed their long weekend. It was a nice weekend. Didn't get near the rain, they thought we good, so that was nice. I hope everybody was able to relax a little bit. Um, I know this is a stressful time for all of us, so we have to be able to take a little bit of time for ourselves, relax, breathe deep, and remember there's still a lot of great things going on in our country, in our state, in our city, and in our lives. We have to remember to concentrate on that. We can't concentrate on just the negative all the time. Okay, so let's get started here. I have several things I want to share with you. First, let's look at our latest numbers. On slide one, you can see that confirmed cases are on the rise in our area. Since last week, confirmed cases have increased in Pierce County by over 90% and in St. Croix County by 49%. All the more reason we must continue to be vigilant in what we are doing to help slow the spread of this and to keep our citizens safe. In slide two, we talked about gating criteria. You can see these criteria we use when deciding when to move into the next phase of our recovery plan. Right now, there are red X's in three of the six areas. That means we are not on track to move into phase two yet. In slide three, you can see that locally, we continue to have an adequate supply of PPE for staff and testing facilities in the area to meet the current needs. Again, specific local case information is not available. We are planning to open City Hall on June 1st to lobby traffic only. We have installed plexiglass, partitions, and taken other measures to protect you and city staff. When possible, please take advantage of our remote access to the city services. The website is below. If you do need to come to City Hall, please bring your face mask or face covering, as we will all be wearing them too for your safety and ours. Throughout the city, you can expect staff to wear masks at work sites when in proximity to other people, including co-workers and the public. We are doing this as a courtesy to the people we serve and to our co-workers to make sure we, contain, we can continue to stay as healthy as we are. As we go along, I know you have a lot of questions about park and recreation activities and the equipment. So do we, to be honest. Staff is working hard with several local, county, and state partners to figure out how best to go about open our facilities to keep them as safe as we possibly can. I know it is frustrating to wait, but we have to make sure we make the right decisions with the best information we can find. As we lay out our plan, we hope to keep swimming lessons going and open the splash pad soon. The splash pad is tested and ready to go when we are. The pool is getting its new liner over the next couple of weeks, so hopefully after that we'll be ready to go with swimming lessons. We should have more information about all the recreational programs hopefully soon next week. At the council meeting last night, we approved a new $500,000 revolving loan program for small businesses in River Falls that have been impacted by the COVID-19 virus. Businesses can request loans of $5,000 or $10,000. The loan term is for four years with 2% interest paid quarterly. Loan guidelines and applications are available on the city's website at rfcity.org. The loan application deadline is June 5th. Last night, council members also voted to approve modifications to the city's strategic and capital improvement plans. The magnitude of COVID-19 and its impacts require that we do this. Some of the original plan strategic initiatives will now be delayed and some may be reconsidered altogether. You can read about several of these changes in the crushing COVID-19 plan found at the website below or in the council agenda packet from last night. Before I sign off, I have a couple of items to bring to your attention. Soon the consensus workers will begin delivering census materials to residents without a typical city address. For example, if you have an emergency address or a PO box, you would be considered part of this group. You can find out more about the census on the city's website. When census workers do show up, they will have a valid ID badge with their photograph, a U.S. Department of Commerce watermark, and an expiration date. Census workers may also carry Census Bureau bags and other equipment with the Census Bureau logo on it. They will never try and enter your home. If you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to call City Hall with questions. Next thing is, we finally have arranged for a reschedule of our May cleanup event. It will be held the week of June 22nd. And there again, you can check the city's website for more information and details. In conclusion, I wanna thank you for doing what you've been doing to help mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in our community. Just because it's summer doesn't mean we can let up on what we've been doing because it's been working. Please continue to practice good social distancing when outside your homes. 
wear a mask whenever you go outside in the businesses around town. It's the easiest thing we can do to help people with this. Avoid groups over 10, wash your hands as much as possible, and please stay home if you feel sick. So we'll see you next week. In the meantime, if you have questions or concerns or anything for me, please do not hesitate to get a hold of me at dtolan at rfcity.org. Take care and be safe.